3-0 count. And he throws it outside for Sosa. Goes after it. Grounds out to second. Keep that in mind. Pitching him outside. Kerry Wood gets the recently acquired Geronimo Barroa. Eight Ks for Wood on the night. Bottom six. Barroa's revenge. Two minute board. The off speed pitch. Brant Brown can't make the grab. Two run score. Brown injured his left shoulder and went to the hospital. Top seven. Sosa facing Moeller and looking for the outside pitch. One and oh. Gone. 32nd on the year. 19th this month. A major league record. And a great moment, though, not only doing that, but the Detroit fans realizing they're seeing a piece of history. They want a curtain call from Sammy, and they get it. Bottom seven, tied at three, two men aboard, gone. Tony Clark, you don't see many balls hit the dead center in Tiger Stadium and live to tell about it. 17th on the year, 10 homers this month for Clark. Tigers win this one by the final of 6-4. to four. And looking for 35 against Dave Burba. Here's Top the of the first. He has just left the building. Oh He's just left Cleveland. Oh they said about 463. It went 500 feet. One nothing cards. Over the Top of the, of the second. Score. Ray Langford against Burba. Slow Ray chopper. Langford, former uh, Cardinal Barry David Story. Bell. David Burying. Bell got him. David Top five tied at two. Two minute board. Brian Hunter at the plate. We have a home run in the inning by John Mabry. Now that we've established two men are aboard, two outs, it's in the fifth. Gary Gaetti is going to try to run on Mark Witten. Do not run on Mark Witten. Tribe defense getting it done, getting it flat out done. Offense, Jim Tomei. Jim Tomei, 20th on the year. 21st on the year came in the eighth. Indians picked up the victory by the final of eight to two. Indians sweep the two game series. Going again. He's pitching to Paul O'Neill. Just another case of the man keeping us down. Third inning. David Wells is the pitcher. Hits to left. Only hit the Yankees had through four. Now in the fifth. No score. Runner on first and one out. Denny Nagel. He's your batter. Throwing down the bunt. Wells. Wheels to second. Derek Jeter. Great play being taken out. Turns the double play. Sixth inning. Runners at first and second. Paul O'Neill into the vacancy. Chuck Knobloch coming. Derek Jeter coming. O'Neill, he goes around third, has himself a triple sliding. Three batters later, 3 nothing Yankees. Chad Curtis, and a reminder that entertainment coupons cannot be used with surf and turf. 5 nothing Yankees. Wells, though, is going strong. Andrew Jones. Only Barnes and Noble allows you to stay around and do nothing longer. Ends the Braves' threat. Wells, okay, at the plate, too. Deep off Dennis Springer. Gerald Williams is after it. He yanks down the catch. We'll just show you to complete the Wells pictures. Yanks win three out of four shutouts, six nothing. New Rude. Deep drive. BJ Surhoff at the wall. Thinks he's got a play. O's get out of the third unscathed. Top of the fourth. Still scoreless. Roberto Alomar against Hideo Nomo. Gone. Alomar with a drive to Fair pull. Eighth homer of the year for Alomar. one nothing. O's. 2 nothing O's. Man aboard, Matt Franco against Scott Erickson. Edgardo Alfonso will score a triple for Franco. Cuts Baltimore's lead to 2-1. to one. Bottom nine, we're tied at two. Winning run at second, Armando Benitez facing Carlos Baerga. Didn't get a lot of it, but got enough of it, and it falls in. Little looper. New York's 10th win in their last at-bats this season. This one is a 3-2 final. Bayerga, three hits. And Angels taking on the Dodgers. Top six tied at one. Phil Nevin, one for 18 in his career with the bases juiced, and now he's two for 19. Paul Conurco can't get it. Erstat and Edmonds score. Anaheim up 3-1. In the bottom of the ninth, same score. Troy Percival on to finish things up. Young Adrian Beltre made his major league debut on Wednesday, and that'll happen. You'll just pop up until, oh, we got a racing deal. Garrett Anderson and Edmonds collide. Ball drops in. Beltre at second. Mondesi came in, made it 3-2. Anderson got the error. Then Percival walks. Jim Eisen Right. We got men on first and second. Eric Young stands in. Walk this way. The bases are now loaded. The Dodgers trying to come from the dead against Troy Percival, who was looking for his 24th save. But with Wilton Guerrero up, Percival brings the gas. The Angels take three of four. 
from their crosstown rivals. 3-2 the final in this one. Steve Sparks, the knuckleballer, wins his third straight start. He was 0-8 in the minors before being called up. 21 of 25. Rangers and Diamondbacks is Jerry Colangelo with the newest son, Pat Garrity. They saw Will Clark against Amari Telemaco. It's already 2-0 Rangers when Clark gets a knock to right. Martin McLemore would score. RBI number 47 for Clark is 3-0 Texas. Bottom three. Rangers up 3-0. Todd Van Poppel on the hill for Texas and Travis Lee. Oh, the kid has a sweet swing and he took it out. His 15th is 3-2 Rangers. But Van Poppel would then sit down the next That's 10 sweet. Diamondbacks no, in order. True. The thrill Someone back to work in the fifth, back. drilling it's one down, down the line. Kareem down Garcia, down little hip. Juan Gonzalez, usually driving in runs, going to score one this time. Rangers have a 5-2 lead. Then in the seventh, Clark up again. He's going to try Garcia again. Smoking one to right center. That just falls in there. Gonzalez, being Gonzalez would Jerry come in and Garcia score. Rangers led 6-2, 3 for 5, 3 RBIs Allen for Clark on the night. Top to 9, Rangers 7-3. Clark needs a homer for the cycle, but he would not get it against Allen Embry as the Rangers Clark go on to win it by a count of 9-4. Van Poppel. In total, Astros up 2-0 in the third, 2 on for Jeff Bagwell. There they are. Slow developing play. Bagwell ripping it off of Mike Say, but Ellis Burks, that's fancy. Rockies up 5-3 in the ninth. Still up 5-3 in the ninth. One on for Derek Bell. and He's going clubbing. Tenth of the year. It's a two-run job. Ties the game at five apiece. We're going to go to extra innings. Twelfth inning. Vinny Castilla's on first. Kurt Abbott. We mentioned him. Trying to get out of the slump. Did so. Vacancy. Carl Everett's after it. Can't get there. And Castilla's rolling around. He'll score. Rockies win it 6-5. to five. Took him 12 innings. Abbott's first hit as a Rocky. He will get his name in the paper. Abbott wasn't the only Rocky with the breakthrough game. John Vanderwall's homer, not picture, got him out of an 0-18. for 18. The night off, day off after the, last night's Grand Slam. Ricky Henderson at the plate. A's up one inning, bases loaded two outs. Ricky, it will fall in front of Daryl Hamilton. Two-run single, A's up 3-0. Bottom of the eighth, the Giants are down four to two. Two out, two on, and Charlie Hayes at the plate. And Charlie with a memorable at bat. That's strike two. We've got a little chat with Mike Winters about the balls and strikes. Next pitch, he pops up. Mike Blowers comes in, makes the catch, and the inning. Well, Charlie's not through. Charlie wants to talk to Mike Winters. He claims Winters cursed at him. Dusty Baker tries to restrain Hayes. Baker goes down. Then they finally get Charlie back to the dugout. Or at least they thought they did. Charlie, I'm going to try it one more time. Hayes got ejected for arguing balls and strikes calls. Really? 5-2 the final in this one. In his last five starts, Jimmy Haynes, not pictured, 3-1 and one with a Langston against his old team. Second inning, Potter's up 2 nothing. Glenn Allen Hill's going away. Long afternoon for Hill. In the seventh, the bases are loaded for Hill against Donnie Wall this time. Just a chopper back to the mound. A 1, 2, and a 3, and the Powerball's 29. Padres up 4 nothing. Somebody doesn't like Glenn Allen Hill in our editing booth. Watch this. Fulvio Veras going deep. My bad. Hill couldn't get it. Didn't come up with the catch. Two runners score. And the Padres win this thing by a count of six to nothing. So Langston's a winner for the first time since April 3rd. The seventh would be costly for Philly. Well, Botch double play ground ball by Mark Lewis on a sure double play. Next batter, Jason Veritek. Matt Beach in a lot of trouble. Runners on first, second, third. Base is drunk. Walks Veritek on a pitch up and in. Mo Vaughn scores. Still nobody out. Next batter, Mark Mike Benjamin. Looks like Beach is going to try to work himself out of this. Punches out Beach. Beach punches Benjamin out on a fastball. Then Billy Ashley gets looking. Two outs. Base is still loaded. Facing Darren Lewis. What happens? Line drive base hit up the middle. Buford. O'Leary scores. Socks up 5-1. Bottom nine. It's 7-3 now. Ron Mayhay facing Mark Parent. The Red Sox have had some trouble with their bullpen recently. And Parent... Reaches down and chops his left field. Glanville scores. So does Scott Rowland. The lead is now only 7-5. to five. Your next batter is Bobby Abreu. Where's Gordon? He's already come and gone. Mayhay gets Abreu swinging at the pitch in the dirt. 
The new Williams and the Red Sox do win by a final score of 7-2. Greg Song through. Todd Zeal on, he's in. And the fish go up one zip. Ray in the fifth, it's 3-0, but the Devil Rays threaten. Yeah, LeVon Hernandez, great stuff tonight. 3 nothing. Marlins, double raise. Bases loaded, punches out. Quentin McCracken there. He had nine strikeouts on the night, LeVon. Bottom six, four zip. Greg Zahn is back. Way back. Greg Zahn. Oh, he nearly did it in the World Series last year. The sack fly was enough. Here's a home run, his third of the year. Marlins. I'm this season, this time against Montreal. Vladimir Guerrero going deep to left. Canseco, still plenty of good seats. If you're just driving around, come on out to the yard. Watch Canseco go up and pull it down. Guerrero is saddened. Fourth inning, no score. Mike Stanley, on his 35th birthday, celebrates it with his 18th home run of the year. Also, there were pony rides at the party. One nothing game. Woody Williams cruising. Mark Grusalanic grounds it. Alex Gonzalez, festive play. One of 13 ground outs. And then in the ninth, Williams to Derek May. One of 12 fly outs. Blue Jays win this thing by a count of one nothing. Career shutout number one for Woody Williams and his second complete game ever. The Eighth inning runs up 4-2. Keith Folks intentionally walking Melvin Nieves to pitch to Pokey Reese. Oh, did somebody make a mistake. Pokey got a pitch up and poked it. First homer of the year, 7-2 Reds on the three-run bomb. Bottom nine, Sox down 7-4. Two men aboard, Robin Ventura against Jeff Shaw. Got all of it, but did it? He hit it the right direction. Curving. Wow. Five pitches later, Ventura off Eduardo Perez's glove. Brett Boone runs it down, and Shaw is covering two outs in the night. Two batters later, White Sox down 7 5. Shaw against Maglio Ordonez to Barry Larkin. Ball game. Red's 11 game losing streak is over. Brett Tomko. Gets the victory. Red snapping that 11-game losing streak thanks to Pokey Reese, who drove in a career-high four runs. Tomko's first win in eight starts. To Kansas City, Royals, Pirates, only one highlight needed. Jeff Conine off John Lieber. Conine's fifth. Royals win it by a final of 6-1. to one. That's what you call cutting.